judge in the first few rounds when there is uh, 25 couples on the floor. I'm going to have to call back 16. Uh, and sometimes I look at myself after the second round and I see who comes back and I think, wow, they're really bad and I'm on the back. I've been a bad judge. Unfortunately, before I uh, get into uh, kitty or something, uh, we have one problem these days as well. We have not enough judges with high enough knowledge of what they are supposed to do. I normally get myself into trouble saying things I shouldn't say, but it's something that should be addressed. Uh, I'm going to talk about walks, yes? A lot of you dance the walks with only a rotation as an action. So you would dance, unfortunately I don't have a big thing here that I can use to demonstrate, so you don't really see my all rusty body. But, so, if you dance a two, a lot of you immediately rotate and. Instead of going two, a pendulum action, I know a lot of you know about this, but some of you that knows it, you know it in the book, you read about it, somebody told you about it, and you don't dance it when you come to new, your dance your routine. So, it's a pendulum action, and then it's a rotary action, when I release the free leg. And a lot of you go to and, immediately. So, it was a pendulum action, and then a rotary action. Andrei Prosvedlin is um, the professional division <laughs> European Championship of the year ago. Now, can you just uh, do some uh, walks and two? Now, catch is half, and now it's a pendulum action, and, and now, uh, go. Three, and, uh, four, and one, and, uh, two, and, uh, three, and, uh, four, and one, and, uh, two, and, uh, can you turn around, the young lady in front of you want to see your, uh, back. <laughs> I didn't see which one it was. Two, and, uh, three, and, uh, four, and one, and, uh, two, and, uh, now. Can you dance it just with a rotary action? <coughs> two, three, four, two, three. If you see his back now, he's not moving at all because everything goes two and three and four. No more. And two. Okay, still do the pendulum action. Now, at the end of this, we rotate and we bring the, the weight to the heel. Hang on. Uh, uh, delay. And from this, we have to activate the standing leg to go to bring our weight forward. And four and one. Okay, do just do one walk even more and then go in just a forward walk. Yeah, well, just go a walk and then into the leg. So you're on and delay. Slowly. A delay. Yes. And. Three and do a delay on four and one. So we do a still a pendulum action and then he puts as he rotates when he put his he set back into the heel. Now thank you, Andre. Hi here. Hello. Nice to meet you here at the camp. What is your intention that you choose just those uh, subjects? Uh, because what I see as a judge um, is a bit a worrying trend. Um, I think we have to start to take a step back. Um, I think speed should not be the main priority necessarily in Latin American dancing. Um, the control of speed is important and um, I don't think that uh, people have the same knowledge or use the same time that they used to do to study the technical part of uh, of the dancing 
I think a lot of people try to make shortcuts um, to apply more effects in their routines, mm -hmm. tricks, um, without having the fundamentals to support this. Obviously, uh, you make shortcuts to get from the first to the second round without going to rapid charge. Uh, but one day you have to learn it anyway. And I don't think the trend that you see at the moment that uh, just speed I I is everything will lead you to eventually get into a semi-final or a final. It's very interesting to hear. I hear back to the characteristics of the special dance as a bride. So yes. Yes, because obviously, I mean, if, like I said in my, uh, in my lecture, if you have couples that dance one minute and 20 seconds of uh, non-Latin American dancing that I have seen from some top couples uh, without any uh, choreographical content of basic elements in that dance and still are being judged into a final and sometimes even win the competition. That's a very worrying trend. Because rumba is rumba, like slow foxtrot should be slow foxtrot. Is we, okay, there is obviously an evolution. I'm not gonna sound like a very old fashioned fogey that uh, just uh, mm -hmm. think that it should be like it was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but we just have to try to protect what each dance should be, the characteristic of each dance. I mean, she's taking it on. I don't want to know this at your I don't want to be in control. That's clear to me that they can't. I give them the indication and they will continue. So can we try uh, together one time? Just stand in this position for a minute before one and just try for this position. Three and at that point we have a connection point, yes? And we now want to push the lady onto her leg. Imagine a forward turning, the lady is doing a back wall. And it's only at the end of the back wall that it can happen, we can have a choice of either still staying in on the push and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two, three, and four, and one. Hi, Olga. Hi, Dimitri. You had a, a very, very long wait. Yes, for us, it's already the fourth time that we visit this training camp, and we really enjoy every year. That's why we come again and again. For us, it's the best one. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's a beautiful place, first of all. It's, uh, I never saw such a beautiful halls like here, and also the teachers who is the here. It's a, it's, a, it's a great teachers. It's a, the top of the top, and we are very happy to be here and to enjoy the camp, to receive the information which will help to us to improve our dancing. It's very important for us. You heard the visions of different trainers. What was most impressive for you? Impressive, you know. They are all different. It's very difficult to say. They all can impress you. And uh, somebody good in this, somebody good in this, and very interesting lectures. So it's very, it's very nice and very good that it's always in the big hall. It's all group lesson or lecture with the great information. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, wonderful. We try to collect all the opinions yeah. and uh, to uh, so to improve our dance concerning to what we heard on during the lessons during the lectures. Yeah, because like like I understand like in what I believe that all the teachers they would like to see the same in the end. Maybe mm -hmm. one of them would like to go from one side yeah. and the other from another side. But in the end, the main goal is the same. So it's very interesting that uh, we have a choice that if we don't understand. If, this way? for example, yeah, one couple don't sit, then this way they can receive information from other way. But it's very nice that everybody is talking about the same things. Uh, yeah, it's great. What will be the next uh, important competition where we can see you? Uh, next week is European Championship. Yeah. Uh, ne next uh, weekend, yeah, ne next Saturday. But um, we don't dance the European Championship because the, in Russia, we are second and only the first and third couple will dance and we uh, wish a success for the Russian team because we are from Russia. 
and uh, we dancing this weekend in Moldova. Moldavia World Open competition also very big. So we decide, okay, all our Revivals. Revivals dancing there, so we also will dance somewhere. <laughs> but I hope at the uh, German Open in August we will see you again here in Germany. Of yes, course. of course. Of course. It's one yeah. of the main competitions. Yeah. We uh, really like to dance in Germany and uh, first our world final we made in Germany, so yes. we like it, we love it. We are looking forward to seeing you then here in Germany again. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So again, it was from the WISC. And of course, the timing was three quarter quarter one. Then people start to think, okay, well, it's always bounce, nearly always in the same place all the time. It's not so interesting, you know, it's boring. Come on, you have to do something, you know, to make it more interesting. Let's move, yes. just move. How? With the bounce? It's not possible. The bounce was to show this rise and fall all the time, this action. So to move with this action is very simple. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you very much. I just can't give my DJ please. Can you stop? How many times I just been we've seen in the comp samba in your Samba, cha cha, rumba, or any dance. Same in ballroom. Okay? So now we have a break, yes? Thank, Thank you very much, much. Ilya. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have any love? Ilya, welcome to the camp. Thank you very much. How do you like it here? Oh, it's great, you know, it's great because, you know, it's so many real experts there, so many fantastic couples, and a great hall great atmosphere and you know I'm really happy to be involved in this fantastic event. And uh, you had a lot of work to do these days? Hopefully yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the subject and what was your intention to do this subject? Uh, I think the most important thing nowadays, especially nowadays, because this, the, the speed is changing so tremendously to the real, real fast movement, it's music, still music. Then I really suppose that dancing should be dancing and not really a sport. I like the word dance sport yes. combination. <laughs> I love it, you know. But we should look more about the quality, and the quality is the music, especially. 
So I hear a uh, more characteristic of the dance. Yes, of course. Because the music is one of the characterization of the dance. Each dance has their own music, tempo, rhythm, timing, contrast, and music on this. And what about the couples? Do they like this trend? Uh, I think we should have a combination always, because I believe that combination is always make the best result and then of all other things. Thank you very much, Ilya. It is very interesting to hear your lesson and to hear uh, your opinion. Thank you for the interview. Thank you.